Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are downtown, just upstairs from the, uh, the general store. Gonna be spending some time downtown today. Gonna make another run at the gun store. I've brought our, uh, our Doomsday ben Benelli M3 and our Doomsday shotgun with us. Uh, hopefully, um, I'm thinking because our aiming is so low. That uh, shotguns are probably gonna be better at uh, taking care of these NPCs that are still, still occupying the gun store. Now, I did uh, spend some time on the target, the archery target, uh, back home. So I did get this up to level two. So let's throw a skill point in there. Um, unfortunately, the pellet gun that we found uh, in the last episode uh, doesn't isn't compatible with the archery target. So. Uh, and I didn't even see the Red Rider listed as an, a viable weapon, so we have to use a slingshot, I guess. Sounds like we got some zombies at our door here. So let's take care of these. And I'll have to get rid of these bodies, so I don't want them here. Uh, but actually what I wanted to do... I got some sheet ropes already out the windows. I want to finally get rid of this staircase here. And uh, so we can have a proper secured location downtown uh, so let me just make sure uh, there's no zombies here uh, so that one sheet rope actually goes down inside I guess doesn't reach outside that's fine um, let's just unlock that one let me see where this back sheet rope goes all right this does go outside so that's good all right so let's head in there uh, let's take out this uh, staircase. Uh, I've got a pallet of lumber with us, and I've also got our sledgehammer. So let's get that equipped. So we kind of we've talked about doing this for a while, but just haven't gotten around to it. So let's finally do it today. Um, there we go. Oh no, I don't want to knock it out while I'm on it. Can I just knock it out from here? Uh, that's that's a little sketchy. Um. Hold on, let's take out this. Maybe I can get beside it and knock it out. I'm a little hesitant to knock it out while I'm standing on it. So let's take out this wall. Maybe it'll let us do it while we're just standing beside it here. Yeah, okay, that's better. So we'll take this out. I'll head back up there, put a uh, sheet rope down um, so we can uh, come down here. I will need some more sheet ropes though, so let's craft one from there and one from here. Okay, let's head over to this sheet rope. We'll climb up. And then let's open this. All right, so this is where it ends. So let's put our sledgehammer away. We are done with that. Uh, we will keep it in our backpack for the next uh, couple episodes, though, because we'll probably head back to the storage units and get to those last ones we didn't get to last time. Pull out our hammer. Unpack this pallet. Okay. Uh, jump off the rope. A pallet there. Might as well eat some more food that I brought down with us. Our small bird meat and vegetable roasted uh, dish. There we go. And we'll drop one of these. Didn't need to bring a whole pallet, but probably use some extra wood down here. All right, so I think we could get away with uh, just doing a, a fence here. And then we'll just put a, a sheet rope over top of this. And that should be good. Add sheet rope. Perfect. All right, so that's secure. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else here. Let's drop, at least for now. Uh, let's put that away. Let's drop the rest of these planks. Good. Get our knife back out. Put our hammer away. So at least we have a, a, a secured second floor downtown. And right across from the gas station. 
Um, if I can find a, another generator, I will hook it up here. But that's pretty much all I wanted to do here. Um, let me just drive over to the gas station. We'll fill up our empty cans. And then we'll head over to the gun store. Right, so I should have everything in here. Yeah, we got just two empty gas cans apparently. I think I have a couple more in my bag though. Yeah, six more. Okay, uh, might as well drop off all this stuff we don't need. Brought my apple pie along as well. So let's turn that on. Get our fuel. Fill all these up. And I think we'll start off with the Benelli shotgun. Now it's not going to be silenced, so it is going to attract a lot of attention. Uh, but what we might do is bring the tank up there as well. So we can fire off some rounds, wait for the zombies to come, kill all the zombies in the tank. And then uh, finish them off with the shotgun, the uh, survivors inside. Sort of what I'm thinking about doing. Alright, so let's drop all these gas cans in here. I might take uh, let's take two of a two of them with us to the uh, to the tank. I don't think we'll use up all the fuel, but all right. Let's go find the tank now. I think we just left it on Main Street, didn't we? Just outside the uh, construction site. So many zombie bodies. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, good God, this music is loud. Hold on. <laughs> Turn the music off for a second. I can't hear myself think. All right, so let's put these gas cans in here. Yeah, so we'll have six gas cans, or well, five and a quarter. That should be more than enough gas for us. Uh, let's get on our shotgun here. Um, let's just put this on the ground, pull it from there. Uh, so we got a rifle sling, a reflex sight, and a full choke on here. Pull that out. Uh, we'll pull some rounds out. We make sure that this is loaded up and ready to go. Uh, let's see. Anything we could drop off? Put the pen away. Alright, so... Uh, this should be fully loaded. Yeah, 7 to 7. Okay. Um, we got some extra rounds there. Uh, let's pull out one of these. And we'll keep the rest of this um, in the tank, I guess. Or here, let's... Um, just to make it easy for us to access. I'll just put these, yeah, that works. All right, we'll keep the uh, shotgun in here too. All right, uh, Tiny Tim, uh, you can you can sit in the tank too. Let's get this equipped both hands. Fantastic. So we're still a little bit overweight here. Um, I don't know if that's a big deal. Let's put the food in there. Um, I don't know, is there anything else we want to lighten the load with? Not really. Okay. Let's just hop in here. And uh, yeah, we'll head down to the, uh, the gun store for what is probably, what, our fourth attempt at killing these guys. So it's going to be a little bit of a drive, a little bit slow drive, so... We will cut back uh, when we are there. Well, of course, I'll always bring it back when we're gonna kill a bunch of zombies. <laughs> so, uh, that's always fun. Here we are. Moments later. Let's clear out this group. 
They may have swarmed the building, too, in our absence, so... The zombies may have already taken care of the worst part. Die. Die. Okay, I don't really want to break, like, containers in there, so... Oh, no, they're still in there. Oh, someone got bit. <laughs> or scratched. Alright, we'll just, uh... Clear a little bit of room there. Let's call out... Get some of these... Zombies taken care of. We mow down the trees. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just take, get rid of the worst of it here. And then we'll get out with our shotgun and call the rest of them over. Oh, someone else got scratched in there. Alright, I think that's good. Let's hop out here. And let's go to town. Oh, uh, rack the weapon. <laughs> okay, that was a bit easy. <laughs> the, uh, the zombies took care of most of them there. Alright, well, let's, let's kill some zombies with the gun. Ah! And then we'll hop in the tank. <laughs> It's a cool sound, uh, different than a regular shotgun, hey? Oh. Okay, reload again. Uh, let's take some beta blockers. Keep reloading. Um, I'll probably need to get into the car pretty soon here, though. Oops, left again. God. Yeah, we might want to get inside the car here. Let's draw them away from uh, the tank. Alright, reload again. And let's see if we can run down into the tank. Let's just uh, do a bit of a loop here. Maybe I should have parked a little bit further away. <laughs> uh, they're so... <laughs> they're all over there. Okay. Hold on. Let's draw them this way again. Oh, God damn it. Keep forgetting to rack the gun. Draw them over towards the fence here. Alright, hopefully that's uh, drawn them far enough away from the tank. I'm gonna feel a lot safer once I'm in that tank. Do this quick. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. All right, zombies. Meet your maker. I don't know if they can overwhelm the tank at all. I think it's probably impossible. But we're gonna have to kill, clear all these zombies out before we can safely go inside there. <laughs> so, oh, sweet Jesus. It's so satisfying. Zigzag our way through the horde. Now, we're not going to use the tank all the time, but... Uh, this gun store and these zombies up here have been a definite pain, 
definite pain in our side the last few times we've attempted, so. And it's, besides, it's fun to do it from time to time. Alright, come on. Let's get the rest of you, uh, stragglers. Over here. Come on. Should I hop out and fire off a shot? Get all their attention. Back over here. Okay, we might have to. It's got quite the range. On it. Okay, here we go. Here they come. Ready for more. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I feel like a madman right now. <laughs> it's so satisfying. Too satisfying. Come on. We're running out of gas, too. You can clear out so many zombies so fast with this thing. It's actually quite nuts. Okay, I might fire off another couple shots here. Reload again here. But our, our aiming should be going up too, so that's, you know, that's good. Alright. Back in the tank. They just never stop. They just keep coming out of the trees. They just keep coming and coming. Come on. Die, you zombies. Zomb zombies come. You zombies come. Did you see that one crawler? <laughs> he did not stand a chance against the tank. Alright, let's do one one more. One more round. With the, uh, bringing him in with the shotgun. Oops. Back that again. Oh, no, I guess we're out. We'd have to open another box of ammo. But I think that might be the worst of it. Oh my god, let's let's zoom out here. We've caused quite a bit of uh, destruction. So none of these bodies, except for the ones that we've shot, none of them should have any loot on them. Um, they should all be empty. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah. Yeah, they're all empty. Okay, cool. I think we've successfully cleared out the hordes around the gun store. Let's head back down. And uh, we'll do some looting. Let's get our knife out. We'll get our doge. Equipped. Equip secondary. Let's eat uh, the rest of this food. Um, yeah, we'll put our gun back in there. I think we're done with that now. Okay. Let's see what we got. There are some zombies somewhere. No, they're outside. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. 
What kind of goodies are in store? Oh my god. So much ammunition. So much. Cool. Look at that actual box of 308 rounds um, from the base game. Don't see that very often. We need some attachments though. We don't want bucks. Why is there bucks here? Disappointing. Oh, there's the electricity for intermediates that we were looking for a long time ago. Or a while ago. On our West Point map. Uh, ammo straps. Okay, cool. Fiberglass stock. Yeah, we'll take all that. A Marlin Model 60. I don't know if we have that, actually. I guess I'll take it. Recoil pad. I have the Ruger, so we'll take the uh, magazine. I don't think we have a varmint rifle yet. Somehow. Check the survivor bodies here. Got a Beretta. Shotgun shells. What is this blue? We keep seeing this. I don't know what it is, though. Two times scope. Uh, some shotgun shells. Uh, another Ruger. Good. More magazines. Springfield clips. Yes. Beretta model 471 Silver Hawk. Shotgun. Ah, I like our shotgun better. Full choke. We got an M9. 11 bullets reflex sight nice good take that attachment uh it'd be nice can we take these um we can take these display cases i kind of want to take some of these display cases back that'd be nice have a gun room pistol tactical light mac 10 magazine do we have a mach 10 Let's take it just to be on the safe side. So that'd be pretty fun to play with. Oh, I don't have a fall. An FN fell. So let's take that. Loretta. Another laser uh, tactical uh, flashlight. AKM magazine. Norinko AKM. I don't think I have this. Remington, I know we have. 308 bullets. Ethica model 37 sawn off. Still like our shotgun better. An FSL LSR? I don't think we have that. Okay. Rifle sling. Magazines. Uh, pick up our round that we dropped way back when. Bread of magazines. Pistol. Laser sight. More rounds. A four time scope. Nice. I think we have the Rugers. All right, uh, key. This must be the survivor. Energy bar, put in the backpack. I don't know, maybe this is the survivor. All right, zombies on there, apparently. Should be more stuff back here. Uh, we are freaking out, let's have a smoke. And I'm actually gonna poke my head outside just to make sure we're not being a uh, Surrounded here. No, we're safe. These guys can't break it, break in through these windows, so we're fine there. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna have to drop some stuff off at the car. Okay, some slugs, more WD-40, more rounds. All right, let's drop this stuff off. Into the tank. Just take everything and drop it in there. So we finally, finally get to the gun store. And uh, the gun store is actually better than the police station this time around. Uh, well, police station had quite a bit of stuff though. Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's a toss up. We seem to be finding more guns here that we haven't found before. Um, I guess the ammo is pretty much the same. Like we found a lot of ammo in the storage units and in the police station. But uh, we did... I think we found some unique guns here that we haven't come across before. So we'll slowly just let him do this. And when we're done, uh, I'll come back. I don't want to fast forward. I think it's a bit dangerous. There's still zombies around, so... 
We'll come back once he's done here and we'll load up again. Okay, what else we have here? Uh, I don't know if there's a point to taking these BBs unless they're going to add an ability to use them on the archer target uh, in the Hydrocraft mod at some point. Uh, Red Rider BB gun. There it is. Well, we'll pick it up. So we were looking for one last episode. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't work with the archery target. At this point, at least. An A-L-A-W. Do we have that one? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Another 8x scope. Perfect. We'll throw that on our M9. Um, I think I actually found another uh, silencer, too. I should be checking these, yeah, uh, these guns here. And taking off... Oh, there's a silencer right there. Uh, taking off any attachments. Like, this one's got a silencer. So let's uh, pull that out. We'll pull out our screwdriver. And uh, we'll just take off the attachments. Like, if we're not going to keep the gun, we might as well take the attachment. So we'll do the same with this uh, Stevens pump. We'll go back and check the other guns, too. So we'll take off the full choke on that. Put that back. Um, I really should be doing this on any gun that we come across. Just double checking, you know? Lots of ammo. Henry Big Boy. I don't know, like it, I don't think we've ever, ever found that gun either. Skeletal stock, nice. Okay, at least we're finding um, attachments that we lost on our last gun. That's good. So I was a little annoyed when we uh, we lost all that stuff. Just a little bit. All right, nothing there. We we could also take out like clips and stuff, right? Um, like I don't know. Does the M1 Garin does it have a, a clip that we can inject? Eject magazine. Yeah, so we might as well collect these magazines. I think we take this one. I uh, know that one must just be like a, a revolver. Springfield 911 though, we could probably eject the magazine from this. Maybe this one. And probably this pistol. And how about these guns here? All the shotguns don't obviously have one. Lock. Check that. Take the silencer off this. There you go. Let's go back and do a once over here. Like a lot of these guns have silencers, right? So we might as well take them. Check the magazine. The Ruger. Check that magazine. So the more magazines we have, you know, the faster, easier it's going to be to use the guns out in the field. Uh, sawn off won't have anything. Remington won't. Another Beretta. That one's on a silencer. We'll remove that. This one, uh, let's take that off, remove that magazine. Uh, the rifle sling, we can take that off. All right, it's almost four o'clock. We should uh, think about heading back soon. All right, check that magazine. So yeah, we're gonna have lots of extra magazines now, which is good. that. Okay, cool. And now, okay, so that's all the guns, right? Oh, a couple more here. Check that. Our Glock. With another silencer. All right, so we've picked up a few silencers today. That's good. 
Oh, this one's got an eight times scope on it. Uh, the Blackhawk? Did we do anything with this one? No. Alright, let's take off this eight times scope. Nice. Cool, we got two eight times scopes today. Okay, let's actually um, drop this stuff on the ground. Can I just drop it on the ground? Or just move over to the other one? I want to just, uh, I want to get some of these display cases. Alright, hold on. Let's move all these attachments over. Oh, we're full again. Okay, hold on. I'll be back. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, so can I just drop these on the ground? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take all these display cases back home. Um, I guess the ground is full. I don't know why it's not letting me uh, drop stuff on the ground. Or even pick stuff up. Did I bug these out because I took the uh, magazines out? I don't... Maybe I, maybe I bugged it out. I don't know why it's not take, letting me take this stuff. Because I'm, I'm terrified, maybe? I don't know what's going on here. Um, let's have a smoke. I can't do anything. Do I have a lighter still? I do. Is it because I'm terrified? Is that a thing? Do I have to calm down? Can you not do anything when you're terrified? I guess I've never been terrified. I guess I gotta kill those um, zombies out front. It's just all that incessant banging, I guess, is um, it's too much for Nick. Um, actually, let's get out our Titanic axe here. Alright, calm down, Nick. Oh yeah, well there's a lot of zombies, I guess. <laughs> I shouldn't be too hard on them. That would be that would be pretty terrifying. Having all those zombies pounding away. Um let's take another beta block in here. That would be pretty terrifying. And they're all very energetic. Alright, you gonna you feeling better there, Nick? You've taken care of your problems. Alright, he's just agitated now. Good. Alright, can you have a smoke now? Are you calmed down? Yeah, have a smoke. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, man. <laughs> He's just losing his mind. We put him through a lot there. It was a rough day at the office. All right, let's close that. We are secure in here. Uh, now, will it let me move this stuff onto the ground? I don't know what, why I can't pick this stuff up. Can I move it over to the other one? Or into a zombie corpse? No. I don't know. Apparently this place is just bugged out. Can I take any of this stuff? What's going on? I want these display cabinets. I can take this one. Need my hammer. I don't know, maybe my game is just bugged out. I'm not overweight. It's not letting me unpack this. Well, okay, we're we're over half hour, so let's um let's end it here. Uh, maybe I just need to reload the game. I don't know, something something weird is going on. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We will be back uh, next episode to, uh, I guess, grab these display cabinets. Hopefully, maybe this area of the map is just bugged out for some reason. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of our little. 
rampage we went on today with the shotgun and the tank. Tank did most of the work, but uh, regardless, I think it was fun. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I'll talk to you all later.